No, I know, yeah, a punter in the fifth, right? Yeah, value pick, right? I know. Oh, I, I gotta go. Hold on. Okay, I'll talk. I'll call you back. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? Caught me talking Packers draft. Seems like a lot of you want to do so today, so let's listen to what people had to say. Hey, Aaron, Jason Kaffler here. Just hey. calling to uh, ask you about not drafting a offensive tackle for the right mm. side for Brian Bullock, and I was wondering what your opinion and thoughts are on the uh, development of our second round trick, uh, second round pick from 2016 in Jason Spriggs, and mm. if you can uh, reliably uh, hold down that right side. Uh, thanks for all you do. Appreciate it. Bye. Well, thank you for the call. And I mean, my thoughts on Jason Spriggs in development is there hasn't been any. Um, if anything, he's regressed from the moment they drafted him to what we saw last year prior to his injury. As for not drafting a tackle this year, I mean, I know they took Madison. He's more of a swing guy. He probably projects inside. You got to think that tells you what they think about Bulaga's prognosis going forward. Clearly, that's what they're hanging their hat on, which, as anybody who's watched the Packers over the last few years, is uh, hardly a uh, lock to see him for 16 games. Let's see what else people got to say. I love the draft. I think it gave us insight into Pettin's defense. Uh, mm. Better back end will give the front seven another half, three quarters of a second to get to the quarterback. That helps create pass rush for sure. Thank you very much. I very much agree with that assessment. I think uh, if you look at what Pettin did, especially in New York, but pretty much at all of his stops as a coordinator, um, he's had superior play on the back end. Um, especially when he was with the Jets, they didn't have any premier pass rushers at all, and yet they got to the con the quarterback constantly. So I would agree with your assessment. I got time for one more here. Hey, Nedder, Rodolfo from Mexico. Uh, hey. Both uh, long snapper and punter waste the picks, especially when you're desperate for edge rushers. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, well thanks for the call. Uh, I understand wanting to label them wasted picks but the long snapper especially it's one of three seventh round picks seventh round picks have a very low hit rate um go get a guy that you know can do the job or you think can do the job i don't feel that's a wasted pick at all uh, the punter in the fifth round obviously is probably the most controversial pick in this draft but look another punter was selected right after the packers took this kid um, they started the run rather than finished it up which is always promising and look, I said after the draft, I'll say it again here. He has to earn this. He has to go out and prove that he is at least Pro Bowl, if not all pro level uh, at the position. Uh, obviously, I think his ability to kick off and as a solid holder played into this as well. You know, there's no doubt they had issues, especially with holds last year. So most of all, it's about his upside and you look at his Alabama tape, this kid boomed him all over the yard all the time. It's an extra weapon, a fuel position weapon. Uh, the best defenses often have uh, long fields to defend because they have good punters. Um, maybe the Packers are thinking, give those offenses a bit further to go. Um, maybe they're <laughs> we, buy, we take them at their word when it comes to, all right, they're going to provide more competition for Vogel, but don't get it twisted. Uh, they drafted this kid. They expect him to win the job, and he's going to get every chance to do so. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for all your calls. I got a ton of them. Uh, make sure you're checking PackersNews.com for all the latest on the Packers. And I'll talk to you guys soon.